we are currently hosting our holiday course, so football sessions for all. Um, you can pay online, turn up to play, you can play for one day or the week. We then host a variety of football sessions, ranging from passing to skills, looking at their control when dribbling. We do a bit of goalkeeping with some of them, and we also have creative time where they can start to come up with their own drills. We have the girls section, the boys sections, and it goes up to 16 year olds. So it's very versatile and allows as many players to come through as we can. It's incredible. We've had um, a good chance from over the seasons where we've collected piles of kit. Um, so we found a good opportunity to raise a little bit of money along the sides, um, small donations for a top. And that way we were able to get a lot of our participants in kit. Um, and it just looks fantastic seeing a load of Wimbledon running around. It's like the future in yeah. mini. <laughs> well, it's so good having Paul down, especially knowing that this was the pathway he took. He used the school to get through in his career with Wimbledon. So it's just great visions for them to be know that there is that pathway and there is that opportunity to grow, keep growing, and to then see the product that, that can, can be made. And all the stories he can tell, I mean, talking about Ivan Tony, talking about Akin Femmo, you can just see their faces light up as he mentions the teams. And just hearing about his journey and his career is really inspiring for them. And it shows them that there's so much more to being a footballer than just on the pitch for 90 minutes. Nah. <laughs> um, if I could go back, honestly, my advice would be I should have knocked on the gaffer's door at 17 and a half because the 23's manager told me I was ready and because I was young and I was scared, I didn't do it. So don't be scared if you believe that you're ready and you're good enough, look for the opportunity instead of waiting for the opportunity to find you. But I, still, I, still, I was still prepared for the opportunity when it came but I should have done it earlier. That's the only thing. Don't have fears. Don't be scared. Who's your favourite keeper that's played for England? So it's weird because at first it was Aaron Ramsdale because we kept four clean sheets in a row, which was the record for the club. Then this season, then this season, I say tans because we kept five clean sheets in a row, which is a new record. So we beat our old record. Yeah, um, Southfield was our college. Um, so anyone that had a scholar came here from the age of 16 um, all the way to 18. So yeah, so unfortunately, when I used to come here, there was a college program. Um, sometimes we'll train with them for numbers. So to see now there's a better pathway um, where there's kids, I'm hearing there's a youngest, there's a six year old. And it's like, I thought I started playing earlier and I started at 11. So you can see like, it's, it's, it's quite um, good what the club's doing um, in the community. Um, one of the girls, Mandy, was telling me he found her playing on the estate and now she's here training. Like, I was watching her play and she impressed me and already that's like something you don't see elsewhere because um, if she didn't spot that talent, who knows? Um, so, yes, yeah, it's, it's a great programme. Um, it's quite exciting and even for myself, like, it's motivating. I've seen the club grow, of course you'll be the St King's Meadow, but now we're really at the heart of the community, how important is that? Yeah, it's really important um, because now we're in the centre of Wimbledon, it's like more people are getting to know um, AFC Wimbledon and that could be because of players, that could be because of the foundation or that could be because of D-Lag. So there's different things that's happening within our club that is bring, getting the word out there um, and that's all you can hope for. So, um, which is good to bring in more fans and inspire kids and then that's it. Like, for me, that's perfect. And I've seen you training here once for an FA Youth Cup game, but uh, you look very good in those days, but I can't remember what you were like in your uh, subjects. And, uh, were, were you an academic? Um, yeah, unfortunately, I was, surprisingly. No, see, no one knows this, no one knows this. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, I, I, I was good. Um, I was good, um, studied different languages. And, a couple of detentions um, there. No, no, there's, there's no detention. I'm a good kid, I'm a good student. Um, teachers love me. What, what can I say? I love learning just books. Yeah, yeah. Can. That's how I go into reading. I used to hate reading, but... Southfield got me into it. <laughs> it was all Southfield's job. Yeah. Just big up Southfield. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you think? Yes, 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 yes. Give me a free ball. Cross it, yes, yes. <laughs> 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 no, 
the mic, no. <laughs> my mic fell off. The mic fell off. Get involved now. Head over to our website, AFC Wimbledon Foundation. Free sessions, paid sessions, all welcome to come. Me and Luke are going to be keeping clean sheets to you. Come on, you dons. <laughs>